Dominican Republic. You know what that means? Absolutely nothing. I just thought it was a really cool prop. I wanted to bring it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Whose World Is It Anyway? This is a cheap ripoff. Well, where's it cheap? Cost effective of the TV show Whose Line Is It Anyway? Which is an improv show. Tonight we are going to be traveling the world by way of photos, improv comedy, poetry, storytelling, jokes, and just made up on the spot. Fun? Woo! You ready to have a good time? Yeah. yeah! All the pictures you're about to see tonight have been taken by myself on my mini travels around the world, covering close to 30 countries, not quite, pretty close. And uh, the performers you're going to see will be creating scenes. Now usually at improv show, we shout out the suggestions by you, the audience. However, tonight, these suggestions are to be given by the pictures you're about to see on the screen. So, have we ever done this before? Absolutely not. This is the first one. Hopefully yeah. not the last. We'll get it going. Uh, Devin on music, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Devin. Yeah. And uh, Devin, how about a little music? Let's bring our players in. Make 
sure your hands are nice and clean. Yes, when we shear the llama, it's going to get real aggressive. <laughs> right. I like to get dressed up when I'm a llama. <laughs> you know, <laughs> thanks for letting us practice on you, Devin. You're welcome, Heidi. Just bend over right now. <laughs> Action should be 
Albert, yes, I will want her. <laughs> And uh, so for the next presentation, uh, when I travel, so as you can see, I've been to quite a few places. I'm very fortunate for that. Uh, one thing I do like, is it really hot in here, by the way? Just me. Just me. I'm just sweating. Uh, but, uh, no, you're hot. Well, that's it. Uh, but uh, one thing I like to do when I'm traveling is collect t-shirts. So uh, this is one t-shirt I, uh, I got here. And uh, let me, uh, I think I have some pictures to go with it here. So this is uh, Pakal, and Pakal was a, he was a Mayan king. And so, Devin, it's really hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Not a drug. They honor the cocaine. There's a, actually a cocaine museum in Bolivia that honors the coca leaf. And uh, be careful though, you might look like this by the time you leave. It's gonna be really hot, Devin. <laughs> Christmas tradition of Lutefisk, 
Luke's fish is rotted ammonia-laced cod. Now, it sounds bad, but trust me, it's a lot worse than it sounds. <laughs> China consists of Chinese food, which is not Panda Express, Golden Dragon, Walking Ready, Pick Up Sticks, or any other Chinese take out to the back dump and do your customers a favor. Actually, you do have pickup sticks in China. Everything that crawls, they serve on a stick. You can get uh, scorpion on a stick, starfish on a stick, crickets and spiders on a stick, sharks, baby sharks on a stick. And of course, if you were to get all of those things up and chop them all up and put them all together, you get hot dog on a stick. <laughs> Dumplings, as I was saying, homemade dumplings being sold from a box, which is converted to a shack, which is converted to a house, which is converted to a home, converted to a mom and pop shop, replete with one baby son, made in China, selling the world's most wonderful dumplings, steamy, fresh, hot to touch, warming your insides, and staving off, if only briefly, the minus 11 degree Beijing winter. <laughs> Germany, sausages are king and empanadas rule South America, all the varieties, Peruvian, Chilean, Argentinian, and Bolivia, they're called salteñas. Spain is tapas and amazing paellas. Portugal, sardinas. <coughs> the Netherlands, cheese. But if it's meat that you seek, then Argentina for beef. Barisha means barbecue, which means plenty for you, for it is their religion where they gather and pray. Pray like with an E, pray. <laughs> Lasting all night and into the day, after all, the Pope is Argentinian, hey, che? Argentinians call it <laughs> Ceviche is mastered in the land of Peru. Danish and Denmark, I had me a few. Wait, getting back to Peru. You may not know, but there's a food they farm and grow. It's not a vegetable nor a fruit. It grows quite small and it's very cute. Cooey, even the name is cute. But I do not recommend if your appetite's big, for there's little meat to be found on a small guinea pig. Oh, <laughs> Thai food in Thailand, Brit food in Britain. And no, it's not great, great Britain, but hey, it's a plate, and any plate of food, one must never be rude, eat all that's there, leave none to spare, even though it's a Brit and the food tastes like shh, one must never be rude, I eat it all, burnt to a crisp, or still mooing, and thanks to the Brits, we now have Brit black pudding. Mexican food? In Mexico, yes. None of that stuff they serve in the U.S. Homemade tortillas and a hot plate of mole. Now I am praying to all that is holy. Holy moly. <laughs> you can taste God, nature, and earth, the love that created and placed in the earth. Speaking of deity, Italian food in Italy. Pizza not served from a hut. <laughs> Boxed up and topped out, this edible smut. Toppings toppling over, Domino's, back door, Papa Joe's, Giorgio, no good. Mamma Mia, diarrhea, toppings galore, at the end a crusty sore. It's pizza, it's crust. <laughs> Machine churning, stomach burning, a round table night, oh, what a sight. Families are gathering, Sunday to Saturday. The lampposts of flame, our hunger now tame. From the youngest of tox to the oldest of geezers, family unite, and all hail, little Caesar. It's a pizza. When in Rome, much better than that, they deliver to your home. Japan has sushi, period, and it's the best, period. I know this really great sushi bar from my house. Shut up. <laughs> I love greasy food, as in food from Greece. The tomatoes, the olives, the oil, the feta. Hey, bro, Hawaiian luau. Ain't no food, more better. Broke the mouth. The Hawaiians say the food's really good. It broke the mouth. <laughs> Lao Lao and Poi, Lomi Salmon, Kalua Pig, prepared underground, the portions are big. And of course, let's not forget that one important Hawaiian dish, of which I admit I'm not a big fan, so how do you call me and how the I am, if it means I must love a tin can of Spam? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Ah yes, India. <laughs> India is a world of flavors, to list them all here, I haven't the hours. I don't care which authentic Indian restaurant you've gone, unless you've been to India, you really have not. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a wrap, a small taste of the map. Food coma means now, now time for a food nap. Sweet dreams ahead, dreams of distant lands and large appetites, yet they all start the same with some pretty long flights. Thank you. Do you watch travel shows in here? Oh, yeah, you watch travel. Now, I've noticed that a lot of the travel shows now deal mostly with food. So right now, we are going to, you are going to see our very own improv uh, 
Travel Food Show. Yeah, so can I get the three people up here please for the name of Arms Expert? Okay, uh, you're gonna see three world-class chefs from three different countries. Can you just shout out three random countries for me? Just shout them out, three countries. China. China, I heard. Shout them out. Hey. India. And what else? Kazakhstan. Hey. Kazakhstan, I like. It. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have three world-class chefs, starting with our chef from India. Put your hands together. Welcome to the food panel. We have a special chef here today, uh, Gertrude from <laughs> India. <laughs> what is the most favorite food in your country? Oh, well, you know, I'm supposed to like really spicy things, but I just, my whole life, I've never been able to take it. You know, you're supposed to take it every day, and it make you a little bit tougher. Make your taste buds tougher. Could you show me how you prepare it? Sure. So, uh, what I do is I walk out into the forest, and I find a little, the little tiniest, little tiniest pepper. Because those ones are a little more hot. They're so hot on the tongue, and I taste it a little bit, little bit. Oh! Someone's going to be interrogated, 
I'm going to flash up three pictures. The first picture is going to tell the place where this crime committed. And the two other people doing the interrogation are going to have to get this person up front to guess what the place is. We're all going to know the place except the person sitting being interrogated. The second part is the accomplice, who this person was with, okay, when the crime was committed. And the last thing was the weapon. All right, so with your applause, can I get the three players up here? For the Maybe I like it. Nah. <laughs> you know 
No, he's like that. No, he's like that. This ain't the most popular verse. I don't know what I'm smiling about. People want to know. You don't know that, Jam? That's a remix. Maybe sing the next verse. <laughs> Come on! Spit it out! Yeah, so I know the guy. Yeah? Yeah, his name is Deviche, like you said! Yeah! Oh, no, 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 we're, we're looking for his best pal. Oh, mm -hmm. David Guetta? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Oh. One of the like, traits yeah, listen. was poor. I know you're poor like, trait! Yeah. I know you like your lowbrow and your highbrow stuff, but I'm thinking you like no brow. <laughs> she don't even like comedy. You're not even funny to me. Mm -mm. Uh huh. You know what? She's slippery, like oil. That's what it is. Been greasy oil. Hey, I like the water. Don't talk about my monks that way. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> mm -mm. Come on, we know millions of people see her every day. We know who we know we're talking about. All right, so my favorite singer, Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> and it's not Lisa or Liza Minnelli either. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, okay. Maybe. Spit it out. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start making you groan and moan about poor traits. <laughs> All right, oh, no. this is the art of interrogation here. You know what? She, it was really, she's not real, all right? It's really Da Vinci that posed for the Mona Lisa, all right? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. transformation you're making here. We might have to <laughs> so what, that chameleon helped me a little bit. No, 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 we're done with your accomplices. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. We know all your colors. They're bright, shining, blinding. That's what they do. You need a tan. That's what you need. Because I need sunglasses when I look at you. Well, the reflection off the ice from the sun and whatnot will give you a tan from underneath. Hey, listen, man, it's getting a bit cold in here. It's starting to bug me. I'm going to start changing the heat. Yo, all right, bring me up like a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Maybe like one of those things at the end of time. Can we hurry this up? I'm Partner. Like 10 miles to get here from Antarctica. I can't believe it. Someone, someone stole the antenna off my car. <laughs> what a bugger. <laughs> Somebody, uh, I hate when buggers do that. <laughs> Especially those pretty beautiful ones. My praying mantis is my friend. <laughs> right? It's my friend. Maybe they I need to pray more because they're not as pretty. All right? That beautiful butterfly is all over here. The interrogation, it went a little bit longer than I thought it would go. <laughs> oh, all yeah, right. She was but, yeah, those were real subtle clues there. Those were good. Uh, put your hands together if you join with the game. So, uh, the next game we're going to be playing uh, is a little game that I invented. It's called Flag Jeopardy. All right? And how this, when I travel, I like to always take pictures of flags of the countries I visit. And so these players haven't seen these pictures, and they're going to try to figure out what country this flag represents, all right? And there's a little, I have a little prize, I don't think I told you, but the winning team is gonna get a special prize. So take this serious. This isn't a joke. It's no joke, right? it's no joke. It's a comedy show, it's not a joke. You ready? Okay, so they're gonna partner up, they're gonna work as a team. So there's gonna be three teams of two, all right? Uh, Demi, can you cue a little music, please? Players on stage for the game of Flag Jeopardy. All right, so you're gonna partner up. And so we got Haley and Gina. 
and Jeff and Ernie and David and Jeff Bueno. All right. Uh, so we'll start with the ladies. Ladies, your first <coughs> guess is.
the time you answer the question. <laughs> what is Yugoslavia? <laughs> I go wrong. Maybe. What is Spain? <laughs> it's Ed, I believe. Amberstein and Ernie, I believe you're up. They're all the same. <laughs> They're all the same flag. <laughs> the soccer ball in the corner might give you a clue. <laughs> what is Colombia? Alright. <laughs> what is Germany? Yeah! So I'm gonna get all the players on stage, please. Yeah. Right. And you're gonna see just or hear various one-liner punny jokes. And this is called the game of pickup lines. So you're gonna see how to pick up people, pick up a girl or a boy if you're in a bar, you're all alone, you're traveling to the country of, just shout it out. Greece. Greece! Show me <laughs> pickup lines in Greece. Want to see my hummus? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I came with lots of dough to bail you out. Uh, <laughs> you want to have a look at my Grecian formula? <laughs> <laughs> Sparta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, give me another country. Brazil. Brazil. Uh, I like your Brazilian balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Brazil and I'm a hard nut to crack. <laughs> no, you're really on Amazon. Ah. <laughs> uh, I also know some place where you can get all you can eat, eat. <laughs> all <of these. laughs> all right, let's change it up. We're going to go to the game that's called World's Worst. You're going to see or hear the world's worst thing to do at this. Give me just shout out like a famous location in, in somewhere in the world, somewhere like a famous historical Sahara place. Desert. The Sahara Desert. World's worst thing you could do or say in the Sahara Desert. Flash dance. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't even get service here. <laughs> Umbrellas! <laughs> if it worked for Han Solo, it'll work for me. <laughs> Give me another historical place somewhere on planet Earth. Somewhere famous. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. World's worst thing you could say or do at the Eiffel Tower. If it weren't for us, you'd be speaking German. <laughs> if it weren't for us, you'd be speaking Italian. <laughs> if it weren't for us, you'd be speaking Japanese. I know this is the Eiffel, but you yes. fall. Ah! <laughs> You're like murdering us. <laughs> All the way over here, and we get to the top. I'm expecting a proposal. Let's go. I propose we go back down. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the world's worst travel slogan for this country. Shout it out. Poland. Poland. What's the world's worst travel slogan you could use for Poland? Poland, where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> Frankfurters galore! <laughs> Poland. Name sounds scary, but your 13 year old daughter is safe there. <laughs> if you got singles, come to Poland. <laughs> come to Poland and go dance. <laughs> Poland, where the 15th best models come from. <laughs> Give me another country. World's worst travel slogan for this country. Jamaica. Ireland. Jamaica. 
Jamaica. They filmed a movie here. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, jet skis, banana boat snorkeling. Anybody? Jet ski, banana boat snorkeling. No? Uh, give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> when your family is Jamaican, you crazy. Go to Jamaica. <laughs> from the land of Portugal, obrigado for the man and for the lady, obrigada. And in the Kimar tongue, it's akun in Cambodia. Norwegian is tak. And to say a thousand things, you say tusen tak. And last but not least, to say thank you with no rhyme is to use your hands and say in sign. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.